Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and we are currently in Albania. This morning we left Durez, so we cleaned the apartment. I did an apartment tour, that would have been my last video you will have watched, hopefully. If not, you can go ahead and find it on my channel. Um, we then got a bus from our apartment to Durez Town Centre, which was an absolute nightmare because they kept putting more and more people on the bus even though I had no space and I was kind of towards the back with you know like seats either side so when people were trying to get off they were trying to squeeze past me because I got my huge bags on anyway it was a huge thing I was like my body was shaking from trying to cling on and like not be in the way of everyone we then got on the main bus from Duras to Tirana which was nice and then we got on a city bus from Tirana bus stop station to town and then walked about 10-15 minutes to the hotel which is where we're at now so it's been a little bit of a hectic morning I'm a bit tired and um, last night I also dreamt that like all that IVF stuff and embryo freezing which is what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks that's obviously on my mind as well <sighs> anyway we're hot and tired and hungry so we're going to go out and find somewhere for lunch Um, I ate some food last night you might have seen that in the last video in the last vlog um, which made me a little bit ill today, so I'm not feeling too good. So I don't think I'm going to have anything I shouldn't be having. I think I'm going to stick to probably a Greek salad or something yummy, but also not um, that's going to trigger me like my intolerances. Anyway, I'll show you the apartment, not the apartment, I'll show you the hotel later on when we come back. But for now, we're going to head out for some food. But welcome to the vlog, and I hope you enjoy this one. Okay, so we're walking to get lunch. We're going to stop in one of these places. One of them was a Greek place that was quite busy full of locals so we thought if it's busy with locals it must be a good place I'm not sure if it was this one or the next one it's the next one isn't it so we'll, yeah we'll keep going and we're going to go to one of these places for lunch so we decided to come to this place because it is full of people like the outside is full the inside is full and we're just looking online at the menu I'm going to get a Greek salad and some chips and maybe some fried cheese as well so we decided to go for a walk after our food just to kind of work off the, not work off the food but just digest it a little bit and I saw this huge building that looks all like new and I was like okay let's have a look in there we realised it's a supermarket and it's like a shopping centre there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there's eight floors I've never seen a shopping mall this big oh my goodness it's crazy so, if you count the floors there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's huge. There's a Calzedonia, which I know is tights. Intimus and Me's underwear. Um, I don't really know what the other ones are, so it'll be interesting to have a look and Oh, Adidas, obviously. Wow, this is fun. So we've decided we're going to go up to the top floor to be able to look down and then probably just come back down again. I'm not bothered about actually looking around the shops. Sorry, Jeremy is there. Obviously wanted to get in on the action. So we're not going to go in any of the shops, I don't think. This is more about having a look. Don't worry, you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've made it to the top. There's a restaurant. One second. So there's this view. I can't look over. Show them the photo. Jeremy's just taken this photo. I can't bear to look over, so I'm glad Jeremy took the photo. Anyway, there's food court. Cool ceiling. That's about as close as I can get. I hate heights. And then there's this cool restaurant for kids with giraffes and toy things. Not restaurant, PlayStation. Like, what do you call it? Play place. <laughs> you can tell I've not got kids. Anyway. So there's a cafe here with big windows and you can see the mosque that Jeremy flew the drone of recently. You can see mountains and all the buildings. That's such a cool view. So just another look of this place. So that Comodita home, bottom left. I'm going to have to have a look in there. We've come down the floor by the way. Um, there's this huge toy shop as well. It's more for like babies, like smaller kids. So there's nothing fun for us to look at. But anyway, just thought I'd show you. So this is the one I want to have a quick look in. Jeremy's washing his hands, so I'm going to have a quick peek and see what goodies there are, even though obviously I can't buy anything or take it home. Not that I have a home either. We found a toy shop with Vespers, so we're trying to decide. I think I would get the beige one at the end and Jeremy would get the blue one. 
there's all these bikes and then there's these like motorbike style things cars Land Rover how much do you, how much is a Land Rover or a Mercedes Benz does it have a price 500 euros for a Range Rover so it's really interesting being here there's been an Adidas shop and a Eurosport no Intersport sorry but otherwise there's no like H&M or Zara things like that there are women's clothes shops like this one behind me which is called LC Waikiki and so it's so interesting that like you expect a big shopping mall like this to have like a Zara, a H&M, maybe a Mango, shops like that, but there isn't any. So yeah, really interesting. So over on that side, you can see there's Intersport and then there's Diesel and there's Hugo. So there are some big brands, but there's not kind of a Zara and H&M that I was expecting. But anyway, we'll just keep looking around. The ceiling of that shop is so fun. I don't know if you can see it. No. <laughs> okay, so this is the view from the bottom. There's the bar over there. There's a couple of shops, and then this is like all the way up there. So it's a big old shopping centre. So this is the hotel that we're staying at for the next two nights. It's called Jolly, which I think is cute. And the hotel that people recommend you go to, and it's kind of a touristy thing to do, is kind of there. It's really close. So anyway, I'll show you a little bit inside the hotel and also our bedroom if I don't get run over in the meantime. But yeah, it's cute. And our room is basically in the ceiling, like it's in the roof. So this is the entrance. And I think we get breakfast down there in the morning. So this is our room, 209. As you can see, we're in the ceiling. There's a skylight, we've got AC. We've got, oops, a little cabinet. A double bed with bedside tables. Ow, just walked into the bed again. We've got a slanted roof. And then this is the bathroom. So we've got a sink, a toilet and a shower. So, oh my God, the shower's in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> How are we going to wash ourselves in that? One minute, get a video of me in there. Okay, just about. Just about, but my brothers were not fit in. They'd have to be like... Good. So it's quite a small dark room but that's fine. I'm going to have a little bit of a nap. I think Jeremy's going to get some work done but I'll chat to you later on if we go out or do anything exciting. Okay, I've just woken up from a nap as you can probably tell from my hair and my face but I haven't napped in so long and it was so nice. Especially in bed, I tend to nap on the sofa if anywhere. Anyway, the bed sheets... Um, are not really on the bed, like they're on the bed but they're not tucked in or anything and then also when I got into bed the bed sheets were cold and a bit wet so that was fun but never mind. Um, I'm getting a bit hungry so even though I bought all those snacks to do that video with my little brother about tasting Albanian treats I think I might have to open a couple of them we'll see. Or Jeremy's giving me some nuts but obviously I'm going to go for the treats. Um, Jeremy's got a phone call from 6 till 8 so I'm going to hang out watch maybe some Netflix or YouTube or something or do some work we'll see. Um, and then we'll be going out for food later on, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of a catch up on what we've been doing. I bloody love a midday nap. Oh, it was good. Sorts me right out. Anyway, I'll see you when we go outside. Obviously, yeah, I know. You Can you tell it's sort of me out? Really. Oh, I do love it though. I love a good snooze. What were you doing when I was snoozing, working? Watching stuff. Watching stuff. Right. Chat to you later. Oh, I also forgot to mention that the room absolutely stinks. So the toilet stinks. And whenever you open the bathroom door, the whole bedroom stinks. So, oh, gross. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my teeth take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I've been
Good morning. It's the very next day. So last night we were now for a meal. You would have seen the food that we got. I got a risotto during we got pizza. We also had a bit of a walk around town, which was nice. Um, did not sleep well. We went to bed quite early because we were tired from the night before. Um, but then there was a mosquito, and every time that I was like just about to go to sleep, there'd be the like it comes around your face, and I'd be like, no, fuck off. <laughs> So I didn't sleep for ages and then I was waking up itchy because I think it bit my little finger. I think it bit my face as well, like my neck area was itchy in the night. And then at 6am the call to prayer happened with the mosque outside so we could hear like, you know, the call to prayer singing basically at 6 in the morning which woke me up. Oh, also I had a banging headache last night before going to bed and I thought just go to sleep and you'll be fine. And then when I woke up at 6 I still had a headache so I had to get up and get some water, get a painkiller, so... I was definitely wide awake at 6 and then slept again till 8 and Jeremy worked out this morning, went down for breakfast, this is a long intro but um, we went down for breakfast and they basically had the scraps left so there was like a tiny piece of cucumber, like the end of a tomato, you know when you chop the end off and nobody wants that bit, there was like that piece of that, there was some brown bread, some white bread, some cheese and some ham, some fruit and then some croissants so I was like well <laughs> guess I'm eating croissants then so I had two um, apricot flavour croissants and just had a shower and gotten ready so we're gonna head out today I think the main reason we're heading out is because well first of all this room is small and dark but also we're obviously going back to England where it's gonna be October and then November which is gonna be cold and rainy and wet and cloudy and all the rest of it so we're gonna sit outside today and enjoy the weather the plan is to go to the market first and have a look around there because when we went last time I think we got there kind of in the afternoon had lunch and then had a look around I think we kind of missed most of the stalls so we're gonna have a look around the market and then try and find somewhere nice to sit in the sun maybe read our books and just enjoy the sunshine basically and um, so we're not really being tourists today we're just kind of hanging out and um, having a relaxing day hopefully but let's get going first stop we're going to the market okay we're back at the markets if you saw my previous vlogs you'll know that we came here last time and I got some dried fruits we also got some dried figs so I think we're gonna get some more of that today but it's busy which is nice it'd be nice to look through the middle because the middle was empty last time. Okay, so we're walking down the middle and there's still not many people here. So there's this guy, well, this person, I don't know who it is, selling, like, pipes and things. There's some fabrics here. But otherwise, all the rest of this, you can see all the wood, it's all empty. Which is a shame, because it means that, I don't know what day the full market is, because we've kind of missed it twice now. But I do like the fact that they have the tobacco just on show like that. And if I had a house, believe me, I would be buying some of these. Oh. I think they're lovely. Don't listen to Jeremy. <laughs> and these are the figs that you can buy. I think we're going to buy pi uh, we're going to buy two packs. So we're going to get one that we can eat next week, and then one for Eleanor when she comes back. Because we're saying my brother and sister-in-law, and they're going away for a week. So we want to um, get them a little gift when they get back because we're staying at their house. Look at all these different types of tobacco. So interesting how it's just sat there like that. So we're back at this section where they sell random stuff. Jeremy's now looking at old passports, but they also have oh, it's real passports. <laughs> What's happened to the people? Why have they got a box of passports? Oh, it's expired. Anyway, we've also got like cameras and hats and. Over there they had remote controls, I'm not going to go back again, but it's a funny old market. So we're looking at the figs and these ones are black, which we didn't have last time. These ones are slightly white coloured. The ones that we got are more like this colour last time. Yeah, there's different types. I wonder if it's a different type of fig or a different type of drying process. Yeah. And then I'm going to get some um, pineapple. It was delicious last time. So we decided we're going to walk to the castle and sit down in the sun, but we're just walking past Tanner's Bridge, so I wanted to show you it again. There it is. And we've just seen some people with running gear on, so um, I think the marathon was today, which is good, but we've obviously missed that. And it should be it that way. I think it would be that way. So we're walking up this way, and I've just seen two people running past doing the marathon. And obviously there's police there who are kind of protecting them, I guess, or making sure nothing happens. But I'll see if I can film 
some more marathon runners. Let's see. There's some, can you see those two? And there's another one down there. And this is the big um, mask that Jeremy filmed last time we were here. It's beautiful. So we've just seen this um, Vodafone bridge, which I think is pretty cool, it's good design, but they've got free Wi-Fi, which I think is brilliant advertising. Um, and then we're walking towards a park to sit in, and then we came across this church and people dressed to the nines, and I was like, that must be a wedding, and there's also a photographer somewhere. So we thought we'd hang around and see if the bride and groom comes out, because I'd quite like to see what an Albanian bride looks like. I think it'll be beautiful. Okay, so the, <laughs> the wedding happened behind us. You can see everybody outside. And I was like, okay, I'm done waiting. We've been waiting maybe like 10 minutes already. But I can tell by the way the guests are dressed, like some of them have incredible dresses. I know that's gonna be an amazing wedding dress, but we just didn't bother Hello, no, hanging around and waiting for it. But I bet they're actually gonna come out now that we've Hello, left. We. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> well done you. Right, all the guests have just gone inside, so we think it's the start of the wedding rather than the end of the wedding. Although we don't really know, but anyway, we've not seen the bride, which is a shame. It's a beautiful church. So we're now walking over the Vodafone Bridge, which I think is pretty cool. It is, isn't it? Um, there's a group of people here on the right-hand side cheering for all the runners, so Jeremy wants to run past and get cheered. <laughs> Can you hear them cheering? <laughs> to do a marathon I don't know if I would survive but I think Jeremy would get a good time anyway we're now actually walking to a park to sit down and relax in the sunshine so it's crazy that the whole road is closed for the marathon and Jeremy also saw somebody with a triathlon t-shirt but the last time we came here this road was really scary to walk across and now it's just completely empty which is so cool So we've come to one of the parks and there's a big cute puppy there, there's someone doing yoga there, there's kids playing and it's actually really lovely. We're just sat in the shade because we were sweating from walking round. But we're going to chill here for the next hour or so I guess until we get hungry and then go for lunch. Right then, we have finished at the park reading our books. I'm currently reading Will Smith's book which is really good. Um, but the way I do it, I do audio book, thank you Jeremy, I do audio book and I read the book, but with the audio book, Will Smith has actually inserted songs or like clips from the TV show that he talks about, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, so I have to like put the speed at one speed and then like when he does any audio stuff and then when I'm actually reading, I put it at 1.75 so I have to like keep switch it, like switching behind the speeds, but anyway, good book so far, I'm about 50% through. Um, we've just seen a paraglider or a microlide or something flying, paramo something like that flying. Um, but we're now going to head for lunch. Yeah, you can hear it, I think, probably. We're now going to head for lunch to a place that we just walked past earlier, so hopefully we're going to find it. There it is again. So we're walking down to the castle. Jeremy wants to fill up his water and then we're going to go for a meal. But this area is lovely because it's all pedestrian. There's lots of cafes and restaurants and things on the sides. So there's lots of people sitting outside. Lots of flags. People watching me vlog. I'm still not used to it, but never mind. They've changed the flags actually. It was um, Egyptian last time, I think. Oh. Now it's Austria. Oh.
so come to this place for lunch. I think it's called One Maggi, something like that. I'll try and leave it on screen if I remember and if I can find it again. But we found this table in the shade, but somebody has already just like just left basically because there's all their things. And we're also trying to flag someone down to get a menu. But anyway, we're not in a rush. So we've ordered. This is the first restaurant we've come to that had Albanian dishes. So Jeremy ordered um, stuffed lamb leg, was it? And he also got himself a beer. I got myself this lemon soda, it's so delicious. I've been getting it quite a lot here because it's so yummy. Um, and I ordered a chicken burger and fries because it's what I fancied. So even though this is the time where I should have gotten something Albanian because it actually is Albanian dishes, I just fancy burger and fries, that's what I went for. But um, loving the lemonade. Mine has arrived, my chicken burger with chips. Yummy. Jeremy's is not here yet, but I'm gonna have to eat mine while it's hot. So this always happens. I pretty much eat my burger and Jeremy's food has just arrived. This is his stuffed lamb. Enjoy! Okay, we're back in the park. We enjoyed lunch, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it was good. But we're back in the park just to enjoy the sunshine before we go back home tomorrow. So we're just gonna have a little snooze. I think Jeremy's gonna read, but this is us now just for the next hour or so. I don't know why I'm super overexposed there. Never mind. Shame. So we're in the park, we've been here for about an hour and I have been snoozing, but any time I started to go to sleep I'd feel like an ant on my arm or like a fly on my leg, so I kept like twitching and trying to move them. But I think Jeremy said I was sleeping because at one point I was like actually asleep. Um, but that was nice in the sun. The sun's now gone behind the clouds and it's getting a little bit cooler, so I think we're gonna head back to the house or back to the hotel. We're calling our friends Alvin and Alejandra in about an hour and a half, so we're just going to head back, relax, probably get just little bits of work done, and then we'll be calling them, which will be nice. So, oh, no, oh no, okay, I thought that was Alejandra saying she's cancelled, but it's another message. Anyway, so we've got a call with them um, at half five, which will be lovely, and then we'll be going out for dinner later on. But yeah, it was nice to lay in the sun, because we're not going to be doing that for like a month while we're in England, so I'm glad we enjoyed that. Anyway, back to the hotel and I'll speak to you later. We basically went back to the hotel room, um, relaxed a bit, spoke to our friends for like an hour and a half, um, relaxed some more, um, went out for souffleke, for kebabs. I'm currently on the bus, so there's other people talking, so I hope you can hear me. Um, but I slept really well last night, which was good. This morning, got up and had breakfast. We were there a bit earlier, so there was a lot more things like there was um, different yogurts, there was Nutella, there was different biscuits, different croissants. Um, cheese, more tomatoes and cucumber, lots of different things that were missing yesterday. So we had a nice breakfast and we're just sat on the bus, it's now about half nine, this bus leaves at ten. I think it takes about half an hour to get to the airport, so we should be there about half ten, or maybe like eleven, and we'll fly up like quarter past one I think, so we'll be there two hours beforehand which is perfect. We're here early, Jeremy's outside because <laughs> our big bags are in the back of the truck and sometimes it's in the side but this time it's in the back, so Jeremy's just outside making sure that nobody like nicks our stuff basically. But yeah, we're on the bus, we're um, getting ready to go back to the airport. It's funny, I've had this feeling of like, oh, I can't wait to go home, but like, I don't have a home. And I feel like, oh, I can't wait to get into my own bed. I don't have my own bed because I obviously don't have a house, so it's a weird like feeling that, like, I can't wait to get home, but I don't have a home to go back to. Like, I'm just going back to my brother's. Um, so that's a weird feeling. I think we need to buy somewhere soon because I do feel homesick even though I don't have a home, which I think is the problem, but... So I'm going to show you a little bit of the journey and probably chat to you again at the airport. If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my spinning
So we're having a bit of a funny time here. When we went through security, Jeremy went off, so we had to get searched, like his body search. And then his bag got searched, but I went straight the way through. And then at passport control, there's like everybody else passports. And then there's UK, European, like those scanning machines. So we went to there thinking, okay, we'll skip the big queue. There was like one person in front of us. I went through, absolutely fine. And then Jeremy's didn't work. So now he's got to go in the big long queue that everybody else is in. So it's all happening to him today, which is quite funny because usually it's me that gets stopped everywhere and things that work for me. But today it's him and I'm just sat here chilling and he's still in the queue getting his passport checked. So, oh dear, at least we're here early. I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone